So we have a circle uh, with center M and then T and R are X intercepts of a circle. And then we have some tangent at uh, the point K. Clearly, you can see it on the circle. And then we have 4.1 and then we have 4.1.1. We are told that uh, Y equals to X plus 1, right? At the point on the line where M rests on. And then it says write B in terms of A. So for M, uh, the x coordinate is a and the uh, the y coordinate is b so if we put that in our formula we're gonna get b in place of y equals to a in place of x plus one so if you want to write b uh, in terms of a you're gonna get b equals to a plus one so now we have 4.1.2 that says um calculate the coordinates of m so how do we calculate the coordinates of m uh, one way of doing it is saying that uh, the distance from M to K is equal to the distance from M to R. Why are we saying this? We're saying this because these two are radiuses. So we can say radi, uh, so you the same. And then now the question becomes, why are we doing this? How do we know that this is what we're supposed to do? Because it's not just about me doing these questions, but telling you why we're doing it. So this kind of question, it really needs a skin in the game. After you've solved a couple of these problems on this topic, you will realize that when you have a question like this that says, uh, write X in terms of Y or write Y in terms of X, and then and the question that follows says calculate the coordinates you are almost always gonna use uh, the radiuses you're gonna equate them and solve for uh, the coordinates of that point so if we go ahead with that idea uh, let me just increase the canvas we're gonna get uh, y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared uh, which is equal to the same thing basically y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared so what is y2 on mk so let's take k as the second point right so we're gonna have 7 uh, minus b b is a plus 1 right so we're gonna have uh, a plus 1 instead of a b squared plus x2 which is 5 right minus a and then we square and then uh, for mr uh, let's also consider point r as the second point so for y we're gonna have 0 minus a plus 1 squared right plus x2 that's 6 minus a squared so the first thing we're gonna solve is 7 minus a plus 1 right so if we do that we're gonna get 6 minus a uh, squared plus 5 minus a squared which is gonna be equals to minus a plus 1 squared plus 6 minus a squared so if we solve uh, 6 minus a squared uh, we're going to get um, 36 minus 12 a plus a squared and then plus 25 minus 10 a plus a squared and then this will be equals to this is minus a not minus 9 this will be equals to a squared minus 2a plus 1 and then we're gonna have uh, 36 minus 12a plus a squared so if we take a square root on both sides uh, we're going to have 36 minus 12a plus a squared plus 25 minus 10a uh, plus a squared equals to a squared minus 2a plus 1 uh, plus 36 minus 12a plus a squared now i want you to realize that uh, this 36 minus 12a plus a squared is equals to this 36 minus 12a plus a squared so we can just drop that right 
So if we do that, we're gonna get 25 uh, minus uh, 10a plus a squared equals to a squared minus 2a plus 1. So now we can drop a squared and a squared, right? So we're gonna get 25 minus 10a is equals to 2a plus 1. So if we take 1 to the left hand side and minus 10a to the right hand side, we're gonna get 24 equals to 12a. So a equals to 2. If a is equals to 2, then what is b equals to? Uh, b will be equals to um, a plus 1. So this is equals to 2 plus 1. So this is equals to 3. So the coordinates of m is 2 and 3. So let's do uh, 4.2. Now I can increase the screen again. And there we go. So 4.2, we're told that M has coordinates 2 and 3, which we just uh, calculated, right? And then 4.2.1 says, uh, calculate the radius of the circle. So the radius of the circle, we can use MK or MR again. So uh, we can say that, uh, let's use MK. So we can say that MK as equals to, um, again, Y2 minus Y1 squared, uh, plus x2 minus x1 squared uh, this will be equals to uh, y2 so that is 7 uh, minus y1 y1 now is uh, 3 right squared plus 5 minus 2 squared so if I put that on my calculator I get uh, 5 right so the radius is equals to 5 and then now we have 4.2.2, which is saying uh, calculate the length of TR. Uh, this is TR here, right? So to calculate uh, the length of TR, I can use the coordinates of T, right? And then uh, the coordinates of R and use the distance formula. We can see that T uh, lies on the x-axis, right? It's an x-intercept. So we're going to have T with some value x and y being 0. And then we have R, uh, which is 6 and 0. So if we can calculate uh, the x value of T, we can determine uh, TR. But then how do we go about uh, calculating the value of T? We can use uh, the equation of our circle, right? Because now we essentially have our the equation of our circle because we have the point in the middle, the center, and we have the radius. So if we do that, uh, we know that uh, the equation of our circle will be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to radius squared, which is 5 squared, right? So for t, uh, we're looking for x. So we're going to have x minus 2 squared plus uh, y. We know that is 0, right? So we're just going to have minus 3 squared equals to 5 squared. So if we solve x minus 2 squared, we're going to get x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 9 equals to 25. So we're going to get x squared minus 4x and then plus 4 plus 9 minus 25. And that is minus 12, which is equal to 0. Which two factors of 12 do you multiply? And you get 12, but when you add them, you get uh, minus 4. And uh, that is 6 and 2, right? So x and then minus 6 uh, multiplied by x plus 2 equals to 0. So x equals to 6 or our x is equals to minus 2. Clearly, because t is on the left hand side of the y axis, uh, the correct value is x equals to minus 2, right? So now we know that t is minus 2 and 0. And then r is 6 and 0. And it's easy to see that uh, there's no change uh, in y between t and r, right? So the distance is going to be uh, minus 2, 
minus 6, which will be equals to minus 8. But we don't really care about uh, the magnitude, right? So TR will be equals to 8 uh, units. And then we can move ahead to 4.3. 4.3 says uh, determine the equation of the tangent to the cycle at k. Uh, write your answer in the form y equals to mx plus c. So we have um, m to k there, our radius, and we're supposed to determine the tangent at that point. So if we determine the tangent, um, So 4.3 says uh, determine the equation of the tangent to the circle at k. Write your answer in the form y equals to mx plus c. Um, if you can look uh, from m to k, uh, we can construct a radius, right? If we construct a radius, it will be uh, perpendicular to the tangent. So uh, the, mag the product of the gradient will be equals to minus 1. Let me formally write m for gradient and then mk is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. What is y2? Uh, that is 7 minus 3 divided by 5 minus 2. So 7 minus 3 is 4, right? And then 5 minus 2 is 3. So that will be the gradient of mk. And then the gradient of our tangent uh, will this be equals to minus 1 divided by 4 divided by 3 which will be equals to minus 3 divided by 4 so now we know that y of tangent is equals to uh, minus 3 divided by 4 x plus c now we need to find c right we can substitute our point k of coordinates 5 and 7. So if we do that, we're going to get um, 7 equals to minus 3 divided by 4 uh, multiplied by 5 plus C. So C equals to 7 plus 3 divided by 4 multiplied by 5, which I'm going to put in my calculator and then see what I get divided by 4 multiplied by 5. And then this is giving me 43 divided by 4. So y of tangent equals to minus 3 divided by 4x plus 43 divided by 4. And then 4.4 says a horizontal line is drawn tangent. Uh, so as soon as we hear horizontal line, we know that the line is like this, right? Because the tangent, so it's touching there, it's touching there. And then it says... Uh, write down the coordinates of n. n is the line, which is the tangent. It has coordinates c and d. So they say uh, where d is um, less than zero. So it's touching at the bottom because uh, y is less than zero. Yeah, um, somewhere here and not here because there is greater than zero. So, okay, we have our point there and then it's saying, let's write um, the coordinates of that point. So fine, so we have N. So what is the X value of N? The X value of N is the X value of uh, the point at the center. So we can say that this is two and some coordinate uh, Y. Why am I saying is some point in the center? Um, why am I saying uh, the x coordinate of n is the same as the x coordinate of m? That because it's a horizontal tangent, it only touches once. If it's touching once, then where it touches must go through the center if you draw a perpendicular line that is always true right so 
Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And then the y value, we can then use the equation of our circle because we know that this tangent lies on our circle, right? So the equation of our circle is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals to r squared, r which is 5, right? So what is the value of x? The value of x is um, 2, like we just said. So 2 minus 2, so we don't have anything there, basically. And then for y, we have y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals to 25. So we have y squared minus 6y and then we have 9 minus 25 which is minus 16 and then it's equals to 0. Which two numbers do you multiply they give you 16 and then when you add them they give you minus 6. That is 8 and 2 right? So we're gonna have y uh, minus 8 because you need to add minus 8 and positive 2 to get minus 6 and then uh, multiply by y uh, plus 2 equals to 0. So y is equals to 8 or y is equals to minus 2. Clearly y will be equals to minus 2 because n is in the third quadrant. So we're going to have n of coordinates 2 and minus 2. And then 4.4.2 says uh, determine the equation of the circle at center n passing through t. So n is our new center and it passes through t. Where is t? Okay, there is t there. So our circle is somewhere here and then this is the center. So because we know that n is the center, we're going to have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals to r squared, right? And then uh, what is the value of r? We can substitute coordinates of point t to find r squared, right? So that will be... So what's t again? Uh, let me go and look for t. Uh, t is minus 2 and 0. So t is minus 2 and 0. So we have minus 2 minus 2 squared plus 0 minus 2 squared equals to r squared so minus 2 minus 2 squared that will be 16 uh, plus 2 squared that will be 4 equals to r squared so r squared equals to 20 right so the equation of the circle will be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals to the square root of 20.